Given that C is A divided by B and A is 6.5 plus or minus 0 0.1 and B is 4.5 plus or minus 0 0.5, find the lower and upper bounds of C and write in the form C is equal to P or plus or minus Q, where P and Q are numbers to be found. Well, let's just find the upper and lower bound of doing this division first. Right, the lower bound occurs when, now you have to think because you're doing division here, You've got C is A divided by B, so you want A to be the smallest value possible and B to be the largest value. That will give you the smallest value, um, lower bound of C. The smallest value of A will be 6.5 minus 0 0.1 and the largest value of B will be 4.5 plus 0 0.5. So we're going to have to do the calculation of 6.4 divided by 5, which gives me 1.28. The upper bound occurs when C is A divided by B. This is the largest value of A divided by the smallest value of B. So it's the opposite to what this one is. So it's going to give me 6.5 plus 0 0.1 and then 4.5 minus 0 0.5, which gives me 6.6 .6 divided by four. So you want large A and small B when you do want the upper bound. So that gives me 1.65. Right, we required C in the form of P plus or minus Q. So how do we find P? P, well, you have to take the mean of 1.26 and 1.65. 1.65 plus 1.26 and divide it by 2 and that gives me 1.465 and Q is the difference between these two divided by 2 so it's going to be 1.65 minus 1.28 divided by 2 which gives me 0 0.185 so my answer C will be 1.465 this number here plus or minus 0 0.185 is this number here. Let's just see how that works. So if we note, C will be 1.465 minus that number, so doing this one, gives me 1.28, that gives me the lower bound. And if you work out C is equal to 1.465 plus 0 0.185, so 1.65, sorry, 1.465 plus 1 .0 0.185, that will give me 1.65, which happens to be the upper bound. So we can see how writing in this form actually does work. Okay, so this has been the, a video to show, show you how to find the lower and upper bounds of a C, which is a division of two numbers measured to a certain degree of accuracy. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.